Hola a todos, yo soy Viviana, and today I am going to show you what is the difference between the words está en esta. I'm sure this will be easy for you. Let's get started, comencemos. The first thing you have to do is learn to identify the difference in sound. This difference is produced by this symbol. Its name is tilde, and we use it when we want to speak with an accent. For example, esta and esta. Can you hear the difference? Esta and esta. Now that you can identify the sound of these words, we can start with all their difference. The word esta is a demonstrative pronoun. In English, there are two kinds of demonstrative pronouns in the singular, this and that. And these pronouns can be used with all genders. But in Spanish, it's different because we must think not only about distance. We also have to think about the gender of a person or an object. In this case, the word esta is the pronoun this, but only for the female gender. If you want to know all the demonstrative pronouns, here above is the link. Let's see an example of how to use the singular female demonstrative pronoun. Esta casa es bonita. This house is beautiful. Esta is the demonstrative pronoun. Esta mujer está caminando. Esta is the demonstrative pronoun. But maybe you are wondering what esta mean. And before I explain to you, there's something very important you need to know. In Spanish, the verb to be is made up of two verbs, the verb ser and the verb estar. The word está is one of the conjugation of the verb estar. We use this verb in very specific case. One, where are you? Yo estoy en Colombia. I am in Colombia. Two, what are you doing? Yo estoy caminando. I am walking. Three, feelings. Yo estoy bien. I am fine. Who are you with? Yo estoy con María. I am with María. The way we conjugate this verb is as follows. Yo estoy. I am. Tú estás. You for informal form. Él está. He is. Ella está. She is. Usted está. You for formal form. Nosotros estamos. We are. And ellos están. They are. The word está corresponds to the conjugation of the singular in the third person. Él está. He is. Ella está. She is. And in the second person, when we speak in a formal way, that is to say with respect. Usted está. You are. If you want to learn all about the verb to be in Spanish, here above is the link. Let's see some examples. Esta mujer está caminando. Esta is the demonstrative pronouns. And esta is the conjugation of the verb estar for the singular in the third person she. Ella está. We use the verb estar in this phrase because we are talking about what is she doing? 
Esta mujer está en Colombia. Esta is the demonstrative pronoun. And está is the conjugation of the verb estar in the third person she. Ella está. In this phrase, we use ella está, we use the verb estar, because we are talking about where is she? Esta mujer está con su esposo. Esta is the demonstrative pronoun. And está is the conjugation of the verb estar in the third person she. Ella está. In this case, we use the verb estar because we are talking about with who she is. Now I'm going to tell you three sentences. The idea is that you try to recognize the difference in the sounds and choose the right options. Are you ready? One. Esta niña está cansada. Esta niña está cansada. Two. Esta niña está estudiando. Esta niña está estudiando. Three. Esta mujer está con su esposo. Esta mujer está con su esposo. If you like these videos, I invite you to subscribe, activate the notification bell, and like the video. Adiós.